Hi everyone and welcome to the Drone Blocks Drone Formation Control System Tutorial. Now if you've seen our Getting Started Guide, you'll know that this is the video that was mentioned that's going to give you a deeper dive into the design module. So let's start by clicking on design module and having a look inside. So the very first thing you'll see is a new case. Now I'm going to call mine Learn to Fly and I'm going to set it to 10 drones and I'm going to do an 8x8 eight eight meter grid. Fantastic. Click on confirm once we filled out those details. And now we have a new case successfully created. Fantastic. So let's break down what each part of this layout is. Now, here we have our timeline. The timeline is so important because a drone show is effectively very timing specific. So you have a series of drones that have to act independently, but together. And we do that by synchronizing a timeline. So that's our timeline. Then we have our list of drones on the left here. In this case, we see all one to 10, and then we have our stage, and the stage is our working area. In the real world, the stage is in between our area that we set up with our antennas. Now, we actually predefine our stage in the previous videos where we did the setup. So let's look at the stage. We're going to need to be able to move around the stage. So to do that, we can right click and drag our mouse, which will allow us to rotate the screen, we can also use the W, S, A, and D keys on the keyboard while holding the right mouse button down, as well as using the Q and E to move down and up. That's going to come in very handy when we want to zoom into a specific drone and inspect it. So you can also press spacebar on the keyboard to default your view. You can also press T on the keyboard, which will give you a top-down view or bird's eye view. Um, on a PC with a numpad, you can use 2, 4, 8, and 6 in a rotation that will go your front view, left view, behind, and so on and so forth, as well as number five will give you a top-down view as well. So those are your keyboard shortcuts, and that's how you navigate the stage. Now let's look at some drone commands. So for the drones to work, each drone has a specific set of instructions. Click on drone one, and it's gonna expand out its commands. When I click on the calibration command on the right-hand side, I have the parameters, and that is delay time five seconds. So that means from start to finish, the command is gonna take five seconds to run. That is factored into the total running time of the show. Right now we have a 13 second show. If I adjust this to 15 seconds and press enter, Watch what happens, 13 becomes 23, right? So we have a 23 second show. The calibration now goes from zero to 15 seconds instead of zero to five. That's very important moving forward. So if we make an adjustment, it affects the whole show. But let's change that from 15 to five because we do not need more than five seconds for the calibration. Okay, now one thing we can do Inside the calibration window, the five second window, we can change the color of the drone. So click on the RGB command and you will see it brings up a color palette. We have some preset palettes here. You can use any RGB value you choose. Okay, now if I wanna add an instruction, or if I wanna add a command to the drone, I right, I right click on this panel, but if I right click on the calibration area, you see that I cannot do anything except RGB or copy the command. So let's look at the takeoff command now. If I click on takeoff, you will see a blue line goes through my screen. That is a axis lock, which reminds me that I can only go up or down by dragging. It also tells me that the time of the takeoff is from five seconds to 10 seconds. So let me click and drag this takeoff block up. And as you see, I increase it. The value of the height increases and decreases as I drag it up and down. I can also type in a number. I can change that to 90, 20, or 100 if I want to do, if I want to enter precision values versus dragging around. Okay, now if I click anywhere off the drone on the stage, it will deselect the drone and I'm back to my normal view. Now, instead of going drone one and takeoff command, I can click on the keyframe. These are the keyframes here. I can click on the keyframe directly and it'll take me straight to the drone and the action that that keyframe is connected to. Okay, next, let's look at the land. If I click on land, land is from 10 seconds to 13 seconds because it's a three second delay. And as soon as I hit 10 seconds inside that land, inside that three second land command, the very beginning of the command at 10 seconds, the RGB value is set to black, which switches off the light. 
So what I'm expecting to see here is that all the drones calibrate for five seconds, then it takes them five seconds to take off and three seconds to land. As soon as they reach the top of their takeoff, their lights will turn off as they land. So now we're gonna drag our timeline and we're gonna see what happens. So the first five seconds, nothing happens because we're in calibration stage. Now, watch when I drag from five seconds to 10 seconds. Our drones are nice and green and they take off. And as soon as I hit 10 seconds, the lights turn off and they land. Amazing. Now, let's look at placing our drones on the stage. So, I'm gonna reset my camera view, pushing spacebar, and now I can click and drag a drone to anywhere on the screen. Now, each one of these yellow grids, are they are roughly one and a half feet or half a meter apart. So two squares make up a meter or three feet. The one thing to pay attention to is the corners are out of bounds. You cannot place a drone on the far corners of each of the stage because that's reserved for our antennas. So I'm just gonna place our drones roughly around the stage here. I'm gonna speed this up, but before I do, I just wanna show you something. I'm struggling to see the numbers and I wanna have it, all the odds on one side, all the evens on the other. So I can take my timeline and drag it to when the drones on the air, making their numbers easier to see. Then I can place them because placing them doesn't affect the time. And here we go. They're all nicely aligned and I can see the numbers quite easily. Fantastic, odds on the right, evens on the left. Now let's just verify by dragging our timeline. Yep, they are still going up and down and the colors are changing, fantastic. I'm now just gonna hit file, save, to save this learn to fly mission. Okay, now it's time to discuss drone movement. This is the cool stuff. This is where we actually get the drones moving in a 3D space. So to start, I'm gonna take my timeline and I'm gonna get it to as just as the drones have taken off, so that's about 10 seconds. Now for my drone one, I'm gonna click on drone one. I'm gonna to get to the takeoff. Here's our takeoff command, it's at 10 seconds. I'm just gonna to get to 10 seconds. Now I'm gonna add another command. I do that by right clicking off on the takeoff and saying move 3D. This is going to give me a movement keyframe that lasts 10 seconds. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna change that to three seconds. Now if I have the move 3D command selected, I can just click and drag this point around on the stage and when I let go of the mouse button, it places it there. Now you can see our position is 108X, 229Y and 20Z. To get some practice, I'm just gonna add a couple more points. So I'm gonna right click, copy the command. Then I'm gonna right click and paste as new. The reason I wanna do that is if I just went right click and said move 3D, it's gonna to default to 10 seconds again. And then it's gonna take me extra time to go and change the delay time. Pasting one that's already set to three seconds is just a slightly quicker way or a little shortcut. So now I'm gonna drag this around and put that to the side. Now I wanna point something out. Watch what happens when I move my first 3D movement keyframe. And you see my second one suddenly gets pushed. I also get a little alarm saying it's out of the area and I've got to bring it back. So I'm just going to drag it back and then wonder what happened. So then I'm going to drag the first keyframe again and I'm going to notice that when I drag the top keyframe, all the keyframes underneath shift as well. That's because we have Delta Move enabled. So to fix that, so that you can drag keyframes independently of one another, click on path and untick delta move. Now when I drag a keyframe around, you will see that they are independent from each other, which means I can do something like, let's just make a little M quickly. I'll speed this up and test it. Here we go, my little M. Okay, cool. So that's keyframes in a nutshell. When you click on the command, it highlights the keyframe. So if I click on this first one, that keyframe highlights, I click on the next one and the next one. Now let's look at a better way of moving our drones around the stage. And we're going to achieve this by using shapes. So if you saw here, it said list of shapes. So let me just reset my view. Okay, so here we have a list of shapes. I'm gonna click on the plus button and then I'm going to say, add a cone. Now it loads the cone into the middle of my stage. You can see X and Y, 400, 400. So that's four meters by four meters. And it's 1.5 meters in the air. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna make some tweaks, change the scale, lift it slightly higher. There, that's perfect. Now, you're gonna notice that on my blue shape, I've got little orange dots. These little orange dots are called key points. Now I can snap my drone's movement to those key points. 
And I do that by, let's just select this drone over here. Drone number four is the closest, I think. I'm going to right click, add a 3D move command. Again, I want to change that from 10 seconds to 3 seconds. And this time, I'm going to click and drag it right to the beginning, right to the bottom of this cone. And you see it snaps in quite nicely. Um, so I'm going to do that again to drone number 3. Let's right click and create a move 3D. Change it to 3 seconds. Snap it to the shape. And I'm just going to fast forward me snapping all these drones to various positions of this cone. So, so as you can see, I'm trying to position it so that the drones don't crisscross, they don't overlap too much, and they line up pretty much where they should be. Okay, so now I've got the last one, which I'm just going to snap up to here. And let's have a look at the handiwork. So that looks pretty cool, but it's hard to see the show with the cone. So I can click on this eyeball and make it invisible. And here we have the drone paths. So I'm going to drag my timeline. Remember the first five seconds is calibrating. Then we take off and then you'll see the various drones go into the various positions. Now you will see these little red bubbles. That's indicating that if the drones landed all of a sudden, they'd be in each other's collision zone, which is fine. We can ignore that for now because we aren't going to actually land where they are. But okay, so they get to the snap on points and and let's just try that from a different angle. Okay, now I'm going to change my view and show you something else. So it's a little bit messy with all these paths and it's jambled. So if I click on the path menu and go to show path and I deselect show all, all of a sudden we only have one path to see, which is much cleaner. So now if I drag around the stage, I can see my drone. All the lights have been turned off. So it's a lot cleaner to see. So those are the positions of the drones. Very cool. Now I'm just going to turn those paths back on because we're going to do a little bit more animating. Another key element in a drone show is having a drone rotate. It's very cool. Let's have a look. So I've dragged my timeline to 13 seconds. I've got drone one selected. After my move 3D, I'm going to right click and say around. Now, around does a circle. Around with an H in brackets does a twist upwards. Okay. So play with the one in your own time. But for this lesson, we're just doing the circular one. So click on around. And now you're going to see a little point with a red and a green line. Again, it's showing us that we've only got the X and Y axes to modify, and we can just drag that point around the stage, and that point is the center of our circle, so to speak. So if I get a little bit closer to the drone, you see that the circle gets smaller. It's currently also only a semicircle, so half num, I need to increase that to two to make a full circle, and is clockwise is ticked, so now, this is set to have a 10 second delay. Okay, so one thing you'll notice is it says 13 to 33. Now that's 20 seconds. How come when I've got my delay is 10 seconds, it's counting as 20? Well, it is 10 seconds per half. So that 10 seconds is going to take 20 seconds to do the whole command. So if I modify this to five seconds, it's now gonna take 10 seconds, which is why it says 13 to 23. Okay, so a lot of math involved with drone shows, so keep that in mind. Don't let that catch you out. Now I can copy the five second command and I can move to the drone number two. Okay, so I got a drone number two. I paste as new. I've now added that path on drone number two. I'm just going to go and paste this on all the drones on the top layer quickly. And okay, so now we have them spinning. It's beautiful. I'm now going to copy and paste that Iran command onto my lower drones on the next level down. Now, this time I'm going to untick is clockwise, so it spins counterclockwise. Now that I've unticked is clockwise, I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to paste it to all the drones in the area. So let's just speed through that quickly. Fantastic. Now, now let me drag the timeline and see what the next 10 seconds look like. Amazing. So there I have my drones all spinning in a circle. That is very cool. And then they land. Okay, let's just adjust our view, get a slightly better view, and run our show again. Look at that. Okay, so that looks really cool. You can see you can have so much fun with this. Now, let's look at adding some final touches. Now, we learned earlier about the RGB command that lets us change the color. So I'm going to right-click on the around, and I'm going to select RGB. So that's going to now add an RGB keyframe at 13 seconds, and it's going to be red. I'm going to make that yellow. I'm then going to copy this command. And I'm going to go paste it on all the drones that are 
on the second layer down. So I'm just going to click on the drone, right click, paste, click, right click, paste. Let's just race through that quickly. Okay. Now let me left click on the drone on the top layer and I'm going to do the same. Right click, select RGB and I'm going to change that color to blue. I'm then going to copy that and I'm going to paste it as new on all the top ones. So now let's check this out from takeoff. So they take off, they get into formation. The top ones turn blue, bottom ones turn yellow, clockwise, counterclockwise, spin and land. That is so cool. And that takes us to the end of this video. Hopefully you've learned something about the drone formation control systems design module. Hopefully you had fun and I can't wait to see the light shows you come up with. So thanks for watching. You're in the director seats now. So only thing left to say is lights, camera, action.